We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 4. We're going to be doing the Creating Headers and Footers activity. This is a very fast activity. It's only one step. And we're going to be practicing putting in um, a footer into our document. So with the New Adventures approved document open, we're going to click on the Insert tab. And we're going to go over to our Header and Footer group. We're going to insert a footer. So I'm going to click on the drop down here and it gives me some preset options. I want to select the blank three columns option. So this is going to give me three uh, text fields down here in my footer. In the first one, so when I, with these text fields, when I click on them, it's going to select the whole thing. I'm going to zoom in for you. It'll select um, that whole field, and I don't want to hit the backspace or the delete key. I just want to type right over it. So I'm going to type new adventures. Make sure you don't put any extra spaces or period or anything at the end of that. And make sure you're capitalizing both of these. On the center one, I'm going to click on it, and I want to use my delete key. So make sure you're not using the backspace key, but you're hitting the delete key to delete out that field. I'm going to scooch over to the one on the right, click on it to select that field, and actually we're going to insert a page number. So I'm on my header and footer tab. Now this, uh, let me change my layout here so you can see a little bit better. Um, when you have any kind of hidden tab, it's always going to show up on the right hand side and it's usually going to be blue unless you've changed the colors on your word settings. Um, so it's going to be blue. And so anytime Jasper is says something along the lines of um, drawing tools or format tools or anything that ends with the word tools and then talks about a tab, what it's talking about is this tab right here. So it's really hard to see depending on what kind of screen you're using. Sometimes you'll see where it says um, like header and footer tools, header and footer tab, but you can't see that now because my screen is too condensed. So just make sure anytime you see that word tools that you're looking for those hidden tabs. So on this hidden tab, I'm going to go over to the header and footer group and you'll see that I have a page number icon. So even though I have a footer in here, I can still insert a page number into my footer by using the same, this um, icon. So I'm gonna click on the drop down, and it gives me some options for where I want my page number to go. Because I have this field selected here, I wanna keep my page number right there. So I'm gonna select current position and then I'm going to select accent bar two. I'm going to click on it. And that's going to insert a page number for me. So if I zoom out, what you're going to see now, so as I scroll down, there's page one, there's page two, but this still says new adventures, and here's page three. It's very important when you're adding page numbers that you use the page number function. Because if I was just to type in like a number one, then the number one would show up on every single page. It wouldn't automatically change for me. The last thing that we need to do is close the header and footer using this button. Now, there's a couple of ways that you could do this. I could double click into my document and that would close my header and footer. But because Jasper wants us to make sure we know where this button is, go to the header and footer tab and click that close header and footer option. Then you can mark as answered and submit.